Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Go Rogue Podcast. My name is Brian Fitton. This is the podcast for marketers, business owners, people who really want to communicate their message, give value, build a brand, and ultimately, I don't know, connect with people, right? So we're a part of the human race. We want to connect, right? That's what we want to do. It's our deepest desire. It's our deepest <laughs> desire. Speaking of, we have our co-host, Mr. Jason Miller. Say hey, guys. Up. Hey. What's up? It's Jason here. What's up? If you're watching on video, we are in Red Barn Studio right now. Yeah. Uh, hanging out. Awesome coffee table. Awesome Onyx coffee. Awesome, uh, you know, API console behind us. Anybody who knows anything about that. Yeah. Fan girling right now a little bit. So, and then our other amazing, as always, amazing co-host, Miss Lauren Lewis. What's up? Hey. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> she is so excited to be here, as you can tell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So the reason that Lauren is probably a little um, not as happy, she's she had the re I have forced Lauren to do this podcast with me, guys. And so, Jason, you get to experience this firsthand. How yeah, I'm just a little awkward. I'm right in the middle of <laughs> <laughs> um, So Lauren is going to tell us what we're discussing today. But first off, I'm going to kick us off with uh, the what are we obsessed with this week, right? So, yeah. J.G. Mill, what, uh, what are you obsessed with this week, brother? Uh, I've been drinking a lot of old fashions. <laughs> <laughs> in airports and Denver? In airports, in Outback Steakhouses, <laughs> in different places like that. And I just love that drink now. He's no, a, I've it's never a good, had one. Whoa. It just takes bourbon to the next level for me. It really does. And those bitters. Uh, the bitters know? and the sweet and the those little cherries. <laughs> That's what I'm after. <laughs> this is getting That's real. After. So <laughs> is that is that an appropriate response? That's perfect. All right. Cool. Perfect. All right, Lauren, what are you obsessed with this week? So my husband and I have been watching The Good Place on I have Netflix. no idea what that is. So it's a comedy about like basically going to the good place or heaven, heaven and yeah. once they die oh, and everything it's a comedy okay. and everything ah. and this isn't a spoiler she's in the wrong place uh, oh and so it's kind of just <laughs> did she double <laughs> hockey sticks <laughs> mm. Mm. i don't know about that so anyways it's a really funny show but actually you can also kind of flip it and actually be like it's a pretty good discussion show too. Okay. Um, it kind of okay. makes you think about like, oh, if this was the way you got to heaven, um, that kind of sucks. But <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it's got nice. some really, it's really funny. So huh. we've been Netflix, watching that. you say? Uh huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can watch the first two seasons and then the current season you're gonna have to find on your own. Oh yeah, the spoilers here. Watch commercials. Yep. <laughs> um. So I am obsessed this week with. I've been, I've been kind of obsessed with this, but the minimalist movement. I'm kind of getting sucked into that a little bit. Mary Kondo? Yes. Yeah. I haven't watched the show, but I choose Joy. Okay. Thank your clothes. Do you thank your house every day you walk into it? That's I what should. I want. I, we ha I want that attitude of gratitude. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Does, does this piece of clo clothing make you happy? Does it bring you joy? If not, thank it and give it away. Yeah. Or burn it. No. So I have. I did recently go through this where mm -hmm. I trimmed my wardrobe down to go. like very few pieces. Right. Yes. And it has brought me more joy and happiness. Okay. It's less decisions, right? Okay. But then also on top of this, I did I did something that my wife has been telling me to do for years, which is buy more socks and more underwear. <laughs> and I know it's terrible. I I have hung on to well, how many those pairs we talking here? So six, seven, eight. Yeah, I mean a week's worth. <laughs> so I make sure to have a plenty. But that here's was the deal. more than what you have. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I just, so here's, I've always had like random, you have oh, random feel, things, right? right. Yeah, yeah. And then you hang on to them probably longer than you should. Sure. Right. And so she's, yeah. Anyway, so I chose this week, I was like, you know what? I'm going to invest in some good underwear, pair of thieves. It's I good stuff. I never thought I'd be talking about my underwear right now. I have had nothing to drink, by the way. No old fashions here. <laughs> Dude. And I'm openly talking about my underwear. It's anyway, smart to invest in your underwear. It is. It's just it's, it's good, good. So hand socks. I, I would say hand socks. Yes, so anyway, so now I have a plethora of like very basic socks. I'm like, I don't need anything crazy. All these mixed match. You know what I'm saying? Like choosing like, I, I have one pair. I pick. It's good. Oh, they say I have one pair. No, I mean I have like multiple pairs of stuff. But I'm saying they're not. You know. <laughs> anyway, man, we're we are way off topic. I appreciate that. This man. Is, That's good. You see, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's good. Anyway, okay. All right. Hey, so Lauren. Yeah. Speaking of socks. 
building a good relationship with is that what we're mm. is that what we're talking about today? relationships yeah right yeah. okay okay so we're going to be talking a little bit about the importance of relationships um, that can go from networking that can be from your work home balance the relationships you build with those that support you mm. um, to your customer relationships what is that supposed to look like how does that help build your business by building a great relationship with your customers absolutely Absolutely. Uh, so mm. just like with your clothes, mm. thank yes. them, send your customers out mm. the door. <laughs> if, if it doesn't work out, that's, all, that's on yep. the bad side of things, but, yeah. uh, yeah. yeah, building out those relations. That's, that's, uh, this is an awesome topic because it's so important to obviously have those relationships, have that pipeline of customers, but not even think of them as customers. That, that was one thing that my dad always taught me growing up. He was in sales and he was like, he's like, I don't have clients. I have friends. He's mm. like, I've just made friends with so many people and ultimately mm. led him to bigger, better opportunities because those clients of his would offer him a job. They would want them to come, you know, him to come work for them. So that was always kind of good advice that mm. I always got. But uh, yeah, Jason does a good job with this. Was launching his studio here mm -hmm. several years ago. Um, he was really able to, I know you networked a lot. I mean, you're just a, a likable guy. So appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've traveled together, so we, we have, know each yeah. other pretty well. Yeah, yeah. But no, relationships are 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 if not are really the the most important thing you can focus on. I feel like, in, especially in my business, the service industry, yeah, of audio recording and video production, um, <clears throat> keeping that customer pipeline going uh, over the months to keep your clients uh, client load busy. Um, it's just the, mo the most important thing. And in, in my industry specifically, audio engineering and production, the gear can really get in the way. Uh, of anything um, a lot of times, but having some nice people skills and really mm -hmm. caring about people and really trying to guide them through a process of audio recording or video production is what people want to pay you for. Yeah. It's not your gear you own and they want to have a relationship with you. And I do become friends with a lot of the people I work with. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the guys will come up and stay for the weekend and they know my family and we, we play soccer in the yard on breaks. And so, yeah, relationships are really the most important thing yeah you can focus on paying for that relationship or the uh, that experience as you talk about mm -hmm. that's what i've noticed even with a lot of times that you'll pay extra for that you're like mm. i can get the same quality but yet i like this person yep. like i know that i'll be comfortable working with them i know that they'll timely response or whatever it is yep. that makes a huge difference so yep but uh i will say good. too oh go ahead no so that's good so building out as, as you know, uh, knowing you, you tend to have just coffee with everybody, right? Um, you mentioned something to me um, before we start recording, too, just about meeting up with people once a week, like reaching out to people. That's some of the relationships I've built. So actually, speaking of like the Go Rogue podcast, Eric Henson of Explainify, he was our <coughs> first episode. He, uh, how our relationship started was I saw what he was doing had no idea we had no connection and i just said hey man you want to grab coffee mm -hmm. and he was like cool i was like tell me about your business what are you doing and we became friends i mean hung out and obviously are involved in each other's lives but also launched the podcast i mean this is because i'm here today because of just a tweet actually it was a tweet direct direct message a direct message twitter okay. on twitter so, um no that's a good point if my i know my week has been a good week if i have had two to three lunches and coffees with people outside of the studio yeah because uh, again, in my industry, we can tend to get our heads down in here mixing or working on projects and, and, and not have any outside uh, contact with anybody. So getting out to coffee, getting out to a lunch, uh, just new opportunities are going to come up. Yeah, um, That's how many of my closest friends uh, that I work with closely right now happen. I said, hey, I see what you're doing. It's awesome. I'm kind of doing the same thing. I'd love to grab coffee with you. And we did. And now we're like, working together on all these projects yeah. and best friend and all over the place. So that's awesome. Great. And I, I would say this too, is don't, don't necessarily think just because they don't hire you immediately or that they yeah. don't, you know, respond back or whatever. Like I, that's one of those things that, that it, sometimes it takes time before you actually get to work with somebody, but don't just write them off. There's so many people that's like, Oh, you don't want to have, okay, we're done. Like, absolutely. And then, or you don't want to hire me now. Great. All communication is cut off and that's not smart. You have to go into these relationships thinking I'm not after anything from you because yeah. people will sniff that out. Oh, fast. absolutely. You have yeah. to go in generally uh, excited about what they're doing, just wanting to learn what they're doing and then opportunities will show up. Yep. Um, 
an example, uh, a lot of our adventures in the last year have been through a company that I met the owner uh, and we, over the course of like two years, had random lunches and coffees. Uh, and it wasn't until um, that trust was developed and that relationship was grown that uh, he came to me with a huge job in Philadelphia and off we went. Yeah. So, and f- since then it's been off to the races. So yeah. you have to, you have to um, nurture and cultivate those relationships and keep them ongoing and not have any agenda uh, with like, I'm going to get work out of you. Yeah, absolutely. Because it'll happen oh, when yeah. they see you do good work. Yep. yep. I think we talk a lot on this podcast about the mentality of giving, um, mm-hmm. that giving first before trying to have, like you said, an agenda. I mean, it just goes such a long ways um, for people to know that you'd rather walk away from that coffee just having a great you know, relationship or experience or story rather than, oh, you gave me a paycheck. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and so kind of shifting gears into that so we have our working relationships right and we're building out our network but how do we and lauren and you and i have talked about this too but the balancing the home life right Mm -hmm. making sure to like not work too much set boundaries around that what are kind of some of the things that you try to set in place to make sure that (coughs) you're not just like jason said like head down just all the time working Mm -hmm. and then neglecting the people that are most important to us right Right. So I think, I mean, communication is always going to be key is setting the expectations with your family, um, the goals that you want to accomplish maybe for the year. Like this is what I want to do through my business. And these are going to be the the hurdles that we're going to have to do together to get over that so that, you know, it's clear expectations in the front. Um, but on a kind of a weekly look, um, my husband and I usually take a, a night of the week and we say, we're not going to schedule anything like this is going to be our night. You know, we might just lay in bed and watch Netflix but mm-hmm. at least we're together and you know we're not working and everything because it can get it can be a lot um so it's just setting those priorities and saying you know I'm gonna put my family first a lot of times um but also inviting them with you in that journey that they don't have to be just completely set apart you yeah. know there's opportunities for them to join you in that and be a part so they understand why you're so passionate about what you're doing that helps so much yeah yeah absolutely I know, Jason, yeah. you and I both, I mean, we've encountered this recently with traveling so much and you're, you know, I, like my wife, she's very supportive of what I do and she wants to see more of it, but it still doesn't take away from the fact that it's hard, you know, that yeah. either she's staying home or having to work extra with the kids or whatever else. And I mean, I know, Jamie, your wife, we've, we've had these discussions of like trying to make sure to, to pay attention. So like the extra travel days and stuff, it's like, like I literally paid extra on my plane ticket here recently to to fly out at a certain time to make sure I had enough time with the kids and then flying back earlier. It's like rather than taking basically two days on the end to sure. travel, you know, it's uh it's definitely worth it to to put a little more effort into to being around them more. Yeah, and that's right. I my situation again, I keep going back to kind of what I do because what I do, uh, my studio is attached to my house, and so my family can literally be. 20 feet from me working all day with a band and a lot of bands unfortunately need to work in the evenings and so Mm -hmm. there's crazy dinner family life happening bedtime even and I'm just like torn and so um, keeping a good healthy balance and communicating with my wife hey the band's coming at six we're probably going to be caught up until 10 or 11 I'm not going to be at bedtime tonight yeah plan accordingly yeah (laughs) right so expectations uh, and also just like thinking about how connected we are in this day and age i mean it's getting it's getting uh harder and harder to disconnect um you put your phone at your bed somebody texts you or emails you and you're trying to go to bed and you're like oh i need to respond to that just having some hard cutoffs for your work day um for me that's really important that's smart because my house is literally right there yeah and uh, i need to be able to walk out there and not be dipping back in here because this this is like the modern version of a man cave right like Mm. this is my man cave (laughs) guys want to go watch football i want to come back here and mix and do do music so you just got to be careful yeah and have boundaries absolutely yeah and it's it's definitely i I would say capacity wise so my wife and i would try to have monthly meetings about what's coming up for the month we Mm -hmm. try it doesn't always work out, but we try. Um, one thing we did this year, though, is we did a year on the wall planning getaway. And I understand that not everybody can obviously do that. We tried to be intentional about it, but setting up our year like, hey, these are important days. 
these are, you know, we want to go on vacation. Here's that. What does that look like? You know, financially, how to prepare for that. We have three young kids. So obviously when it comes to babysitting and different things, like she has, she has her own podcast. So making sure she has appropriate time to be able to like planning that out and be able to actually visually see it. So both of Mm -hmm. us can see it and it's updated consistently. Um, That's a new concept for us. And it's, it seems to be working because I can walk in our office, look on the wall. I'm like, Oh, we can't do anything this weekend because whatever it is, you know, um, kind of going back to what you said, setting those expectations. Right. So I think um, that's really good too, because so often I think we have dreams, aspirations and expectations that go unspoken mm -hmm. and it's actually putting them out into the air to actually be heard so that you can actually support one another within your goals of where do we want to actually go? And we're going to actually have to have practical steps to take that. Um, so I think it's really important to talk about those things and even write them down or put them on your wall. Yeah. Put them on the wall. Yeah, y'all killed it with that. I saw pictures of your post-it notes and all the colors and the Sharpies. And yeah. Oh, you know, I'm the most organized Beautiful. person. Beautiful. Oh, I know. Ever seen. I know. So you, organized. You, you, you hardly leave here with, you hardly leave the studio ever without leaving something. <laughs> Hey Brian, so you left your phone, bro. Come uh, and get it. I got I have a camera here. Actually, I got to take you need back. To, yeah, so remember to take yeah, that. Remember that. Yeah. So, um, so that I mean, kind of last advice for people who are in this space, whether whether it be, you know, work life balance or whether it be networking, building out your your funnel. Um, what's kind of some last advice that you guys would give uh, to somebody? Go ahead, Jay. I would say never underestimate anybody. Oh, as far as yeah we are really quickly to kind of label people and meet somebody out in public and kind of write them off as not cool enough or not hip enough to be up to the speed on what I'm into or whatever. But man, people will surprise you and just don't underestimate them. That's I mean, that's good. Yeah. That's just top of the head right there. Right there. For real. Uh, what about you, Miss Lauren? Oh goodness. (laughs) (laughs) She was taking notes. So I've (laughs) <laughs> Put her yeah. on the spot. Yeah. I so think what you said about communication is really important. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I think definitely communicating with those around you to just, uh, you know. Because so quickly True. we can forget to communicate with the people that are most important to us. Yeah. Well, we we think that they know what's going on yeah. in our head. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it just, mm-hmm. yeah. I think that, I mean, man, we could really dive deep into marriage and, like, communication with, I mean, mm-hmm. well, that we'll save that for another episode. So make sure you tune in. <laughs> to that, so get all the spouses on here. Uh, oh man, get after it. Alex okay, has a lot to say. Oh, oh a here thought. We go. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> is just to remember that you know, regardless whether you know, family member, customer, you know, maybe future employer, whatever it might be, you know, just that human interaction that's really important. Understanding we all have a story to tell. We all yeah. have life experiences. We all have strengths and weaknesses. And I think that kind of you know having lunch or having coffee with them. I mean, it's going to go a long ways into wanting to hear their story, wanting to know them as opposed to just trying to get to the bottom line. Yeah. 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 You said it. People can sniff that out quickly. I mean, we, yeah. we hate fake people. Yeah. Why well, we should never present ourselves as, hate, as yeah. fake people. I wouldn't say hate. It's a bad word in our house. We don't, yeah, say, don't hate. say hate. Don't say stupid. <laughs> don't say hey toddlers toddler life um all right hey thank you guys so much for uh tuning in this week so jason where uh, can people find out more information about you if they want to record you know a dope record oh yeah if you want to do a dope record let me know at www.redbarnstudio.net uh, or you can find us on instagram that's where we that's hang out the most just search red barn studio if you see a page with a bunch of gear shots and artist shots, mm-hmm. you'll know you found us. It's beautiful stuff on there, yeah. too. So check it out. You'll get to see all of the cool stuff that Jason has. Um, but like always, we make sure to take all the notes. And Lauren is taking notes as we speak mm. to make sure that we have them on our blog, uh, GoRogueX.com. So make sure you check out that. And then obviously we want to continue the conversation on Facebook as well. So jump over to Facebook, GoRogueX as well. And uh, yeah, have a great day. 